37 from verse 1. I want us to take it verse by verse as many of us can read until we get to 14. The hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of the valley which was full of bones. And caused me to pass by them round about. And behold, there were, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O, o Lord God, thou knowest. Again, he went unto me, prophesied upon these bones, and said unto them, O ye thy bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus said the Lord, God unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and you shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you, I will bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and you shall live, and you shall know that I am the Lord. So, so I was prophesying, and, and as I was prophesying, there was a noise, a rattling sound, and the birds came together, bell to bell. And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came up upon them, and the king covered them above, but there was no breath in them. Also it said to me, prophesy to the, to the birds, prophesy. Son of man, I said to the bird, Thus says the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O bird, and bread on this place, and that they may live. Hold it, man. Hold it, sir. Before we finish reading, please, let's just fill this place, this second row. I want us to come together for us to experience that shaking. Let's come together. What verse are we? Verse 9. Verse 9, please. Everyone at the back row, let's just come together. So who is reading? Verse 9. I, 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 have you read or have you read? I, I've read. Okay, somebody else. Have you finished verse 9? Yeah. Okay, somebody else verse 10. No, somebody verse 10. Verse 10. So yes. I prophesied as he commanded me, and he brought me into death. <coughs> and stood upon their feet, up upon their feet, and a city great army. Then he said unto me, Son of man, these bones are the old house of Israel. Behold, they say, our bones are dried, and our hope is lost. We are cut off for our parts. Ministry 
is to always stand on the word of God whenever you need to pray. If you're going to build a house, the first thing you need to do is to dig a foundation. The higher the house will go into the sky, the deeper the foundation. But if you want to build, let's say, a 10-story building, and you have no foundation, it is easy for any form of storm to bring the house down. But as of today, I, we have a foundation which is the word of the Most High. He has given us a commandment to be in a, in a position of a prophet this afternoon. And the Bible says, I was led in the spirit. And I want you to know that before you can be led in the spirit, you have to be in the presence of God. You don't see people that are in the seat of this comfort being led in the spirit. You don't see people that are walking in the ways of the sinner being led by the spirit. It's only people that have been purchased by the blood of the Lamb. And when you look at yourself vividly, you are not any man. You are not any woman. You are so special that no amount of money, hello, Hi. no amount of money is only through the blood that you know sin. We were in slavery. Sin took us and he enslaved us. And God wants to put an end to that slavery. Every amount of money that was owned that was by our father could not purchase us. But only the blood that knew no sin. A life or a life. What did I say? A life or a life. The life of the Son of God had to go so that you can have a life. And today, according to the word of the Most High, like I said, we are all going to be a prophet even if it is for only one and a half hours. And every word of God that has come out of your mouth, I say every word of Jehovah that he has released in your mouth, and as soon as you release the word into the atmosphere, it shall come to pass. Say we get amen. amen. Because God is life. God is power. Amen. If I want to cause a change in your life now, let me show you something. Stand up for a minute. Let's. You have just changed position. True what? The world. All I say is stand up. And you are what? Standing up. Sit down back. Another position has been changed. So likewise, when you release the word of God, I don't know what your position is. I don't know who is victimizing you. I don't know who is terrorizing you. I don't know what is causing that discomfort in your heart. I don't know the situation that has caused sleepless night. I'm asking you to start prophesying to that situation. He said, prophesy. Prophesy. But I'm saying prophesying. That's what you continue. You continue. You continue. Parents, you give back. <coughs> you don't scold your child once, do you? You continue because you want the best of them. Why do you continue? Why can't you just answer up and say, I'm not going to rebuke this child anymore? Because you stop rebuking that child, the child will come back one day and destroy everything that you have built. May that not be your portion. Amen. Amen. The same way God has given us the ability to keep speaking, to keep speaking, and I will show you your Bible man, Genesis, verse 3. Read out loud and clear. And God said, And God said, Read. Let there be light. What did God say there? Let, Let there, there be, be light. light. What did God say? Let, Let there be light. light. 